Okay, Pisces. Let's check up on the energy of your person. Let's see what they hide from you, Pisces. No, let's use this. Let's see what your person hiding from you. Okay. Space. This person might need some space or wanting some space away from you. Okay. Understanding. Okay. They may not see your side of the story. And hope. Okay. They haven't given up yet. All right. So this is what they hiding from you, Pisces. Space. I need more time to think, okay? Mm, right? Because they probably don't understand you, Pisces. That's what I'm getting. This person don't understand how you work, how you operate. But there's something about you, right? And they have not given up. They just need time to think, right? This, whole, this understanding card say, I see your side of the story, okay? So this person is sitting analyzing this situation, analyzing this relationship, right? They need a little time to think. They need more understanding of who you are and how you operate. And they have not given up on you. So that's what they hiding from you. So if they acting a little distant, being a little funny, it's because they trying to put everything into perspective here. Let's see. What comes with, let's get some other side messages, okay? I don't want our love to become worse by minor things unconsciously piling up, right? So it's just stuff going on that you guys are not addressing and they seeing it as potentially being something that could, you know, damage the relationship in the future. Let's get one more side note. I think I have seen you in my dreams before. This feeling is strongly, no, strangely pulling me towards you, right? So they feel like there's like this unseen force that's magnetically pulling them towards you, right? Like um, I've seen you in my dreams before, right? Like you somebody they imagined that they to have, right? You just... Got that energy, right, that feels familiar to them. Okay, Pisces, so these are the things that your person don't talk to you about, right, that they keep away from you. Okay, so let's hop into the tarot and let's see if we can figure out what else is going on with your person, how they feeling about you and what's going on from their perspective inside of this relationship. Okay, and we got the strength card. Okay, this person, they look like they'll move mountains for you, right? Okay, they're, they're not afraid to face the challenges that come with you. Okay, they're not afraid to face the challenges that come with you. Look at here, the high priestess. She just slid out real smooth. You could be dealing with another Pisces, okay, or Leo, okay, yeah, but with that high priestess, it feels like they're in tune with you, right? They they see you in their dreams. Your energy is familiar, right? It resonates with their spirit here, right? And they 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 have the courage to face any challenges that come with this relationship. They just need time to put things into perspective, probably feel it from within their intuition. Okay? We're going to get one at a time. That was like the nine of cups, but it came with something else. Okay. And here we are with the five of cups. Okay. This person is kind of like sad. I feel like they, they get a little down. Definitely might be dealing with the Pisces with the Leo rising or moon or something. They may have Leo placement in their chart or vice versa. Because I could feel like this person is very passionate but also very emotional, right? And they need time to regroup, to listen to their intuition, to feel themselves, to collect themselves again, right? So sometimes this person just get down and they get a little sad and they may not want you to see them when they in that space. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, we got the page of cups. 
Okay, this person is, is highly in tune, right? They trying to listen to that inner voice. They trying to listen to their higher self, right? Okay, they 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 may be um discover something about you that's unexpected, like start to understand something about you that they didn't expect here. We got the seven of pentacles and also the two of wands, right? So this person, you know, um, they learned that they need to have more patience with you and in order to like for to harvest something out of this relationship or, you know, to gain a different perspective in, or in order for it to grow, they realized that they needed to practice a lot more patience in order to even to get you to open up. Right, because the two of wands, they, they don't understand you clearly, right? Their vision isn't even clear about the depth of you, okay? So it's like they learning to have more patience in order to understand you and try to get you to open up to them, you know? Or for them to open up fully to you, however. Yeah, but whatever's going on, they're, they have not given up hope, right? Queen of Cups. I feel like this person has a lot of love for you, a lot of respect for you. Um, they see you as some type of warrior, you know? Uh, someone who could be very gentle, nurturing, loving, caring, but also someone who's, um, you know, on the front line, right? So, yeah, they see you as being really strong in who you are, right? The love you have for yourself makes them love you even more, right? But they haven't given up on you, Pisces. They they trying to align with you, okay, here with the star. You are their wonder woman or their super woman, right? You're their hero, Right? And with you, they feel like they on top of the world. Right? They just trying to find their space and get into alignment. Okay? We're going to take one at a time. All right? Knight of Pentacles. Okay? Yes, this is them being very patient right it's it's like them trying to come up with a plan from the heart you see how the greenery right it's just like this person is trying to operate from their heart they trying to operate from their higher self they ain't trying to rush you or rush themselves right they trying to put everything into perspective they're learning that have more patience and to come up with a plan so that things can work out best for both of you Right? This person is about ready to take action on whatever needs to be handled in this relationship. And that's most likely a heart to heart conversation. Right? Because I feel like this person, you know, um, I feel like they're very deep. They're very passionate. They're very emotional. And it's like they have to check themselves and they have to put things into perspective. Everything for this person is kind of like a process, right? It's like they don't want to make no mistakes. They want whatever's going on between the two of you to work out for the best. What's crossing all this energy, Pisces, is the Seven of Swords. Mm, mm, mm. And with this seven of swords, I see this hand pulling up the ace of swords, right? And it splits it, which makes that the six of swords, right? So it, it almost feels like this person, you know, want to make peace with something and also be very honest and true, right? They don't want to deceive you in any type of way. Right? They don't want to manipulate you. They don't want to play with your feelings. They don't want to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? And I think that, you know, they just trying to make sure that they don't misunderstand you or cross you 
in a in a way where the, it wasn't intentional, you know, in an unintentional way. I feel like they want to dot all their I's and cross all their T's, right? I feel like this Seven of Swords is just them being cautious not to try not to make any mistakes. So this is the energy of your person, Pisces. Let's get some... um. Uh, messages of guidance here you know when they say I don't want our love to become worse by minor things unconsciously piling up so it's like this person want to handle all the little small issues right they want to put everything into perspective right they really want to have a conversation but let's see what's the meaning behind that okay forgiving and learning right so, you know, it'd be all the little small things that could pile up to one big thing. This card says, as you release, as you release and heal the past, you, you, um, experience more love in your present moment right so this person just want to get over the pettiness that's in the relationship so that they can actually love you the right way in the correct way you know so when it comes to i think that i've seen you in my dreams before this feeling is strong str uh strangely pulling me towards you right and that comes with let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally and I feel like that's why this person took a step back, right? And that's why they needed that space, time to think, to figure out what they doing and what they actually want with you. You know, this could be your energy or your person's, you know, take it how it resonates. My bad, y'all. But yeah, it, it just seems like they need that time to just put everything in the perspective and, and you know, give you some space maybe if you need it too so that you all could come to some form of understanding because i feel like this person is um taking the time and um that they need to take with you you know it's like they think you're precious cargo right like, you know, fragile or, you know, and that they need to be more careful on how they speak to you, how they act around you or towards you, right? They have definitely that strong intuition and they have picked up on the fact that you can read them even when they don't say anything. So, you know, that seven of swords crossing it could go either way now that I think about it, right? But... At the end of the day, I just think this person trying to be careful not to make any mistakes with you. So that's the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, this is the first chakra and it's the base chakra. And this one is relevant to building a strong foundation. I create stability and security by adequately providing myself with the basic needs of a healthy lifestyle, such as food, uh, such as food, shelter, water, and clothing. I use my creativity to build a strong foundation as this is an essential key to my survival and growth. The more inner and outer stability I have, the more grounded and fulfilling my life will become. I respect myself by taking care of my physical body, by nurturing and nourishing it. My body tells me what it needs. So building a strong foundation is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.